zoomed in on 34.3 power, distance 300 yards, using a 22-250 with a 55 grain VMAX bullet Hornady Farmit Express. We're getting ready to shoot at a 10 pound block of clay from 300 yards with a 22-250 using a 55 grain Winchester ballistic silver tip. And as part of that process, I'm zeroing the rifle. Here is where we are hitting at 300 yards. We will try to deliver on that block of clay in a moment. Hello everyone and welcome back. What you just saw was a respectable 300 yard shot. But before we get too carried away, it is important to remember that it was kind of a low pressure shot. I mean, after all, what did I really have to lose if I did not hit my mark? But what happens when the stakes are raised a bit and you do have something to lose if you don't hit your mark? Then how will you perform? Today, we will indeed raise the stakes a bit, and we will demonstrate the capability of the 22250 as well as test the ballistic performance of two different bullets in that caliber. Those two bullets will be the 55 grain VMAX Hornady Varmint Express and the 55 grain Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip. We will be shooting some blocks of clay at 300 yards, but that's not all that we'll do at that distance. You see, for a long time now, many of you have seen me shoot at water jugs and you have seen the first one in line explode and the one right behind it be unharmed. More recently, you have even seen blocks of clay being hit and the water jugs right behind the clay, being unharmed. But what if we made it more interesting by shooting at the water jugs right behind the block of clay? And what if we do it in such a way that not only will the clay be unharmed, it won't even get wet? Take a close look one more time at the setup and notice that there are two blocks, I'm sorry, notice that there are two water jugs right behind the clay and then a row of three water jugs lined up in the very back. As you can see, there are two water jugs right behind the block of clay, and then a row of three water jugs lined up in the very back. Well, now that you've had a fresh look at the setup, here we go. In one of the shots, let's just see if I can take out the first two water jugs that are directly behind the clay, and of course, not even get the clay wet, as you've already heard. In another shot, with the setup being exactly the same, Let's see if I can take out the entire back row of water jugs with one shot, leave everything else unharmed, and then you guessed it, not even get the clay wet. Now obviously we need to keep the clay intact so that we can do our ballistic testing on it also. Now I recently had the opportunity to speak to someone that has forgotten more about long distance shooting than I'll ever know in the first place. I explained the shots that I would like for you guys to be able to see. And he told me that these would be 10,000 to 1 odds if I could make either shot. Now luckily, he told me the odds after I made the shots and not before. Otherwise, who knows, maybe it turns out differently. Now there are several people that tune into us regularly and they've had to face some really long odds in their own life with their health. Now, some, some of them have even had to watch us from hospital rooms. We will not mention any of them by name, but one of them knows who he is, as we will be making these shots with his favorite caliber. Others have had to listen to doctors give them very long odds for their children, as they have been given not much of a chance to make it, even to their next birthday in some cases. So this video is dedicated to everyone out there that has ever had to face or is facing really long odds. Please remember this, long odds get beaten all the time. Please don't give up and enjoy today's video. We're getting ready to take out the two water jugs right behind the block of clay at a distance of 300 yards with a 22250 using a 55 grain VMAX Hornady Varmint Express.
We'll be shooting at this 10 pound block of clay at a distance of 300 yards with a 22250 using a 55 grain VMAX bullet, Hornady Varmint Express. walking up right now to the 10 pound block of clay that was just hit at a distance of 300 yards with a 22250, 55 grain VMAX bullet, Hornady Varmint Express. I'm not certain, but I think I hit it probably just a little bit off center, just a little bit to the right. You can certainly see what happened to the right side of it. And here is the back side of it or the side of it on the left. Let's move this water jug. That is the back side of it. You can see lettering right there. That lettering probably matches the lettering on the water jug as it got pushed into the water jug pretty good, but no bullet fragments went through to the water jug. Nothing went through to this one either. The kinetic energy sure went through, but the bullet itself did not. Here it is from a uh, different angle. You can see some of the uh, clay just flew through this crate and landed down in there. Let's see what this may look like on the bottom side, if we can lift this up. Before we do that, it looks like we're... There's a good size piece of jacket right there from the bullet. We'll keep that off to the side here. And... There is your underside of it right there. We'll be shooting at this 10 pound block of clay at a distance of 300 yards with a 22250 using a 55 grain Winchester ballistic silver tip. Walking up right now to the 10 pound block of clay that was just hit at a distance of 300 yards with a 22250 using the 55 grain Winchester ballistic silver tip. I'm not sure that I have any words that I can add to describe what you just now saw. Obviously, the 10 pound block of clay was lifted off of the platform and the bottle of, or the jug of water behind it seems to have sustained some damage. It appears that there may be a bullet fragment or two in there. If there is, I'll pour that out and try to find that for you in a moment. Other than that, the rest of the bullets are uh, unharmed, or the rest of the uh, water jugs are unharmed. The block of clay itself, this is the back of the block of clay that was facing away from me. Let's see what the underside looks like. There's your underside right there. I don't really see any bullet fragments, at least nothing jumping out at me at the moment. But here is the, basically let's just set this finished product up here. So there's your finished product right there from uh, 300 yards. We're getting ready to take out the three water jugs on the back row at a distance of 300 yards with a 22250 using a 55 grain Winchester ballistic silver tip.
zoomed in on 34.3 power, distance 300 yards, using a 22250 with a 55 grain, VMAX Bullet, Hornady, Farmit Express.